Merry Christmas, everyone. With it being Christmas, I'm, you're probably receiving gifts today. Since humans are getting gifts, why not give the animals gifts too? That's why for Christmas, I'll be feeding some of the animals some wax worms. Alright, so while I'm feeding this first one, um, I got a quick story to tell you guys. When I was getting these wax worms at the store, um, I was expecting all of them to be alive. Well, I was very wrong. In fact, all of them were dead. Not a single one alive. So I kind of had to pick out the ones that were rotting and black, and then uh, this is what I ended up with. Like, some of the animals might not eat it because they have to see, like, moving food, but some of them probably will, like this guy. So this of course is my baby alligator lizard, and he is really good when it comes to feeding. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I switched it out for a smaller worm. That one was a little too big for him. There we go. All right, so the alligator lizard decided to eat one wax worm. It was a pretty big waxworm for his size though. Hopefully he enjoyed that little Christmas tree. I really shouldn't be showing this yet, but um, I don't want to put them in their other enclosure again. So I'll just feed them in this one. This is the morning geckos. And they have a new tank. New 12 by 12 by 18 Exoterra. And the reason I shouldn't be showing you right now is because it's going to be in a future video. So if, if you see it right now, there's no point in watching. The other video, oh, I see one up here. I don't want to smash him by opening the door. So I'm gonna make sure, oh, oh, you're coming straight out, aren't you? And so far, I think they're loving it. They're definitely exploring a lot, so that's a good sign. So to feed these geckos a waxworm, I had to cut it in half, because it would be way too big if I just left it how it is. And I'm gonna, put the guts, this may sound disgusting, but I'm gonna put the guts on their lips so they lick it up, and then after they taste that it's good food, uh, they'll want to just bite at it. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Get it. Get it. Oh. So close. They're so close. Oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. So the morning gecko has finished swallowing it. Uh, it's still trying to move it down its throat. Its mouth is closed, so we know it's in there. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to find the other one right now. This is such a big enclosure that I uh, it's hard to find them. She probably won't eat on camera, but I'm gonna try it out anyways. But every couple of weeks, you can feed them scrambled eggs. 
I feed these girls pinhead crickets, uh, flightless fruit flies, um, crested gecko diet, of course. He was in the middle of the stairs just walking around, and uh, so I picked him up. 